Welcome to everyone. Today we will see how we can remove the exchange hybrid configuration. We have already migrated all of our mailboxes to the Microsoft 365 and now we do not need any directory synchronization and we want to manage our mailboxes completely from exchange online so that we can safely remove our on-premises exchange server. So in this video we will update the DNS record to point towards the Microsoft 365 we will remove the service connection point from on-premises exchange. We will delete or disable the inbound and outbound connector created by hybrid configuration wizard. We will remove the organization relationship created by hybrid configuration wizard. We will disable the on-premises and exchange online configuration. We will also disable the directory synchronization for our tenant. Once all these steps are completed, finally we can safely remove exchange from on-premises. So let's move to the server and get started. So right now we are on our exchange server and if we go and see the exchange admin center of our on-premises, we have migrated our all the mailbox to the Office 365. You can see that and for the default administrator account, I disabled the mailbox and assign it to a different user that is admin2 and then I have synchronized this admin2 with the Office 365. So all the mail of the administrator will be inside this admin2 at techiejack.live. So as we have migrated our all the mailboxes to the Office 365, we don't need to manage any of the user from on-premises. Neither we need a directory synchronization or password synchronization. We need to disable the directory synchronization and we want to remove exchange from on-premises environment. So to proceed with the steps, first of all we have to ensure that our public folder are not set to the remote. So let's check that. If we go to the exchange management shell and run this commandlet get organization config format list public folder enabled. It should not be set to the remote. As you can see that public folder enabled is local. It is not set to the remote. So our next step is to change the MX record and the auto discover record. So let's go to our DNS and change it. If you see here the MX record and CNAME record are still pointing to the on-premises exchange. So let me change that. So I have successfully updated the DNS record that is MX record, SPF record and CNAME record. You can see the status is OK and now you can see the techiejack.live default domain status is healthy. So our second step of updating the DNS record is also completed. Now we have to remove the service connection point on our exchange server. So let's do that. In the exchange management shell, we will run this commandlet get client access service, set client access service, auto discover service, internal URI, dollar null. And for exchange server 2010 or 13, you should use the get client access server instead of service. So let's try to run this commandlet. The commandlet has been ran successfully. Now we have to delete the inbound and outbound connector created by the hybrid configuration wizard. So let's try to delete that from the Microsoft 365 admin center. If we go to the exchange admin center, you have to navigate to the mail flow. You can see the connectors. So instead of deleting this connector, I will try to disable them. Let me try to disable it. Edit name or disable. Let me disable it. And same thing I will do with the another one as well. Let me disable the outbound as well. You can see here the pause button and confirm that it has been disabled now. So both the connector is turned off now. Now it's time to remove the organization relationship created by the hybrid wizard. For that we have to navigate to the organization. Here you can see the organization and sharing and I will disable it. So it has been disabled successfully. So now we have to disable the on-premises configuration and for that we have to run this commandlet get intra-organization connector identity exchange hybrid on-premises to online set intra-organization connector enabled false. So let me hit enter. It gave me error so I troubleshooted it because here we ran the commandlet exchange hybrid on-premises to online. So we have to identify the identity. So I ran the commandlet get intra-organization connector and this is the identity for that connector. Then I did the get intra-organization connector FL and I get the identity. This is the complete name. So I ran the commandlet set intra-organization connector enabled false and it asked me the identity and I provided the identity and the commandlet has ran successfully. So we have disabled the on-premises configuration now let's disable the exchange online configuration. So to disable the exchange online configuration, I will open the PowerShell and we will run this commandlet connect exchange online 
user principal name and the email address for the exchange online global admin let me verify the credentials now we have connected to the exchange online management shell if i try to run the command let get intra organization connector here we have the name let me try to do that with the fl so this is the id let me copy this and i'll paste it here let me try to run this command let let's see if it goes through or not so we have an error let's try in this way set intra organization connector enabled false it will ask for the identity and i'll paste it here so now it is success and now we have to disable the directory synchronization for our tenant and when this step is completed our all user management task will be done from the microsoft 365 management tools so let's proceed with that so now i am inside the dc machine and we have to connect with the microsoft azure active directory and i have opened the elevated powershell and i will install the module ms online so it is installed let me now run the connect msol service and it will ask the credential let me verify the credentials to make sure that it is connected we can run the command let get mso l user so now we have all the users listed there so in order to turn off the directory synchronization we will run the following command let set msol dir sync enabled enable dir sync dollar false let me hit enter it's saying confirm so let me hit yes and now the directory synchronization has been disabled successfully after doing this step all the management will be done through the microsoft 365 and we can safely remove our exchange on premises if we go to the alex user and if i try to reset the password earlier the password management was set to the on premises if i say automatically create a new password let me reset the password for alex and let's see if it works or not you can see the password has been reset successfully for the alex user now we have a control of our user on our Microsoft 365 admin center and we can safely remove our on-premises exchange server. So before removing our on-premises exchange server, let's try to finally test the mail flow between our internal user and with the other domain as well. Here I am logged in with the Jack user and let's try to send an email to Joe that is our internal user. I will also send an email to the external user to the Gmail. I will type a subject as a final test and will send the email. Here we have Joe user logged in. Here you can see the Joe has received the mail from Jack that is final test. And if I try to reply it, I say received and I will send it back to the Jack. So Jack has received the mail from the Joe. So our internal mail flow is working fine inside the organization. And let's try to check the Gmail. You can see the final test email. The email has received on the Gmail as well. And let me reply working. I will send it back to the Jack. We received the email from the Gmail as well. So it confirms that our internal and external mail flow is working perfectly fine. I hope the video was useful. In case of any confusion or query, you can contact me via email at info at techiejack.com and if you are interested in complete exchange server administration, you can register at course.techiejack.com. Thank you for watching.